a nation that gives up God, well, he gives them to the enemy. I uh, had my rant uh, yesterday about the um, alleged uh, you know, statements about me being an attorney for the Rabi Sufi Law Firm. I'm over that crap. Uh, that's going to be handled in a professional manner, and uh, things are in the works on that. The other night, <clears throat> excuse me, Uh, getting back um, to that, the other night we had the coyotes were going crazy, yelping and yelping and yelping, and all of a sudden we heard one, and then everything was silent. And there are a couple of vehicles, campers, there's a an old uh, school bus that I think are occupied by homeless people. They park along Topanga. And we think that maybe one of them took care of the problem. It's kind of interesting. But just remember, the Reverend L. Sharpen, he's watching us, so behave yourselves. I think, you know, the praying mantis, I think there's a campaign song that she could use in her upcoming campaigns because I'm sure one day she'll want to run for president with her green movement. And that is, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad past the time away. Okay, well, anyway, what I want to talk about... Um, Here's a short series that I may be doing kind of based on the Invaders and the X-Files. And it's going to be called the Mark Center Chronicles. Mark Center, a mild-mannered man from Riverside, California, has uncovered the aliens that want to destroy the planet Earth. He has had experiences with the UFO phenomena. And uh, it'll be a fun thing, kind of break the monotony, and who knows, maybe like making money George, I make, I might make some money off of it. So anyway, uh, with that kind of update there, um, we'll see you in the next clip, and I'll um, keep you up to date on the uh, Mark Center Chronicles. <laughs>